Hey there, it's Harry from Silver Daddy Barbecue. One of the most common questions I get from my YouTube viewers is how do I buy competition style meats or the best meats that can be used in a backyard setting? In this video, I'll take you through a shopping trip that I've gone through in Restaurant Depot and Sam's Club and even Costco to talk you through the different attributes I look for when I purchase meats such as chicken, ribs, pork, brisket, pork belly and steaks. Hey, it's Harry. It's Harry from Celebrity Daddy Barbecue. Today I'm in Restaurant Depot and we're going to show you guys how we pick uh, meat for a competition barbecue. We're going to pick some uh, pork butt, some ribs, and some brisket. So these are the uh, Mary's uh, Air Chilled Organic Thighs. And uh, they're a little bit expensive but uh, great for competition uh, also. And there's quite a few of them you can pick. And you can use the uh, Air Chilled Chicken for barbecue competition chicken also and here's the whole chicken right here when it comes to chicken another option for chicken is to use uh, air chilled chicken in uh, California we usually have uh, Mary's organic chicken and uh, this is also using competition barbecue because uh, it, uh, it's not uh, cooked soaked in water so it has a better texture so this is another option for chicken and uh, it's, all, it's also like called Smart Chicken as a brand in the Midwest. But in California, uh, Mary uh, Chicken is the one that we use. So how do you pick a competition chicken thigh? Uh, we have a lot of chicken here in Sam's Club. Uh, we're going through some uh, Tyson ones. So the first thing I do is I look for the package size and uh, try to pick the ones that are heavier and bigger. And after I pick the size, next thing I want to do is look for the type of skin, right? So. Like for example, this one, this one's no good because the skin is kind of blemished, a little brown and bloody. So I, I would pick this one. Uh, not this one because uh, it's got blood, kind of bloody and uneven skin. Looking for blotchiness on the skin. What I'm trying to do is look for chicken that it looks has clear skin. So among all the packs here, this one looks pretty good. So this one is heavy, one of the heavier packs here. And also a uh, nice clear skin here. No feathers and uh, no cuts, nicks. This one is a good one. Uh, this one is also a pretty decent one. So among all the packs here, uh, I would pick uh, this one and I would pick this one to trim for a contest. About three pounds here, you can tell. So from the weight, that's the first indicator. It's 10 pounds divided by three is about three pounds. So this is a 3.0 down rib. And uh, you want to look for basically some nice marbling, nice thick meat here. So I go by weight first, and then after the weight, I, I go with the marbling. So we go through a few of these, looking for something that will work. And uh, if it's just too much meat, there's no fat, not so good. Alright, so I like this one here, because it's got a little bit of fat here. So I kind of like this part here, all the serrations and fat. So this is a good rib, pick this one. Also, this one's pretty good. So, kind of around here, uh, you see striations, marbling, and fattiness. And then the fat is soft, so that's all good. The ribs. So, what we want to try to do is uh, pick uh, nice uh, ribs with nice marbling. This one looks pretty good, like, like, like so. so uh, this one's a good one. So I'm looking for marbling along this edge here. So, it says 15 pounds, so these are 5 pounds each. So, that's about the right size. So, big. Big ribs are really good for competition. Uh, this is the right kind of marbling you want to see here, right here. And then uh, this one is not too bad, I'll take off. So look for striations and then look for the marbling and make sure that the fat is soft. That, that'll make a good rib. Okay, we are in the meat uh, counter here in Restaurant Depot and uh, we have baby bags and we have St. Louis. We're gonna pick our way through St. Louis. Uh, we need uh, this one, it's not good, too much white fat here. This one's, this one's superb right here. So look at the marbling right here, all the way here. Nice soft fat, this is a good this is a keeper. All right, so here we go. We have four good St. Louis ribs here. That's how you pick them. Looking for marbling, striations, and then the fat is soft. And so this is a good one. So St. Louis ribs are a lot easier because you don't have to trim them. So rather than buy a spare rib, you can buy a St. Louis cut rib from the store and uh, versus a spare rib here. So that also works you want to save time. Okay, so we're going to pick pork butts now. 
go with bony pork butts. And the first thing we want to do is do for size. So this is a 17 pounder. And from the size, we usually want to try to get a 20 pounder. And from here, we look at the money muscle. So this money muscle is very decent for its size. And uh, this one's a little bit smaller. So if you look here, this one is a 13 pounder too small, 12 pounder too small. All right, here's a good one. Here's a 20 pounder. And uh, it's got a nice money muscle. You can see here, right here. Uh, striations, a little closer here. Striations, and then it's got a nice size to it. The muscle is about this long, so that's good. Make a beautiful slice. Weight's about right. It's about almost uh, nine, about 19 pounds. So this one is the one I will use the competition. This one is a kind of a backup. So this will be a good one. All right, so now we're gonna pick uh, briskets. I'll show you guys what we do. So this is the Angus brisket. Uh, pretty good. It's about uh, I don't know, maybe three three sixty eight a pound. So the first thing you want to do with brisket is the size matters. So you want a heavy one. So this is a nice one, about almost eight, about eighteen pounds. This one is twenty two pounds. So it's really big. And what we're looking for is a brisket that has good symmetry. Uh, looking for striations, marbling, and then uh, you're looking for the flexibility of the flat. And then the thickness of the flat right here, muscle here. So this one is really, really thick, but it's really ginormous. So it's a little bit too big for competition. This is a 14 pounder. This looks very good. I like this one here. You can see some uh, marbling on, on the lines here. So this one just looks pretty good. It's an inside. You also want to make sure that the the fat cap is not damaged. So for example, like this one here, this fat cap, this is not good. See, the fat has cap has been cut out too much. So this is not a not a good competition brisket, even though it, it, it's a it's a beautiful size. 14 pound, kind of thin. No can do. So I kind of like this one because the, the the slices are thick here. Nice marbling, and I know I can get slices from here. So this 14 pounder, even though it's a little small size, it's got nice thickness to it. Flexibility. The fat cap is intact. So th this one would, would be would be a good candidate for competition brisket. And also this one, so I, I would pick these two for a, for a competition. Okay, how do you pick a good steak? Uh, these are Angus Choice uh, steaks, and uh, what you want to try to do is look for a few things. Uh, you want to look for the symmetry, size, weight. These are about one and a half inch slices here. So you're looking at the marbling. Uh, looking for the rib cap marbling on the side so among all these steak packages here you see this one looks good but not enough marbling here so this one looks the best I think overall so you can see that there's a nice rib cap on all three pieces right here and uh, good marbling see striations marbling here in the veins and the meat so among all the five different packs here I think that this one's the best. I'm gonna pick this one here. It's about uh, four pounds, so each piece is about just a pound and a third. 